Funerals were held in Iraq for 78 people killed by the Islamic State group in 2014 and uncovered in a mass grave in one of the jihadist group's worst atrocities. DNA testing was used to identify the remains of hundreds of people slain by IS after their discovery in 2017 at the gravesite on the outskirts of Mosul in the country's north. The Sunni Muslim extremists seized a large chunk of Iraq's territory and proclaimed a caliphate in 2014, carrying out abductions, beheadings, ethnic cleansing, mass killings and rapes. In June that year, IS members attacked Badush prison and freed Sunni inmates before forcing around 600 mostly Shiite prisoners into a truck, driving them to a ravine and shooting them dead. 78 of them were laid to rest in Baghdad and in the Shiite holy city of Najaf, in central Iraq. In front of Baghdad's martyr monument, coffins draped in Iraqi flags were carried on army vehicles and accompanied by a military band. About 1,000 prisoners, mostly Shiites, were executed by IS, members inside the prison and at other sites, according to UN investigators. The killings were described as crimes against humanity by UNITAD, the UN body set up to investigate IS crimes in Iraq. The United Nations estimates IS left behind more than 200 mass graves which could contain up to 12,000 bodies.